All right, so today we're gonna to do a quick walkthrough of how to live stream a video, pre-recorded video to YouTube using OBS. I did a video on this a few years ago, but things have changed a lot. So I'm gonna do an updated video for 2023, 2024, um, and just walk you guys through how this process works. So let's jump into it. All right, so I'm here in OBS the new setup for OBS. If you don't have it, I might have a link down in the description for you to go in and download the OBS software. But what I'm gonna do is just walk you guys through of how to get set up, how to get your videos loaded, how to get your images loaded, and how to get a video that you've already recorded live streamed onto YouTube. And you can keep track of it, you can talk in the chat, all that info, so let's jump into it. All right, so, I'm here in the OBS software. Just want to give you guys a rundown here. So right now I have a few items set up here. I have a thumbnail and I have a pre-recorded video that is set up and I'll walk you guys through how I do it and why I do it that way. Um, the first thing we want to do is, is the thumbnail. You just, you can come down here to scenes and then you can just call it whatever. I just call it pre-recorded uh, thumbnail cause that's what I'm doing. I'll just call it a test and then click OK, and then that will add the scene, but for every scene, you have to add a source. So in order to add an image, you can just click select the image, um, and then I'll just do the existing image that I have. If you wanna add a new one, just create new, and then you can just grab one from um, locally on your computer or wherever you have it downloaded. And then that's it, we'll add it. I'm not going to add it since I already have one. I'll just get rid of that. Um, and then we'll come back here to the pre-recorded video. So for this one, it'll be a similar uh, setup. You just go into add scene and then you just call it uh, what you need to call it. And then I'll just call it two and click okay. And then again, you have to do the same thing. You have to come in and add a source. And for this one, you want to add a media source. And again, you wanna go to your machine. I'll just click okay. And then you just want to, here's a few settings here, local file, you want to have it local. And then you can, if you want it to loop, you can do that. And then restart when the source becomes active. I like that because if I hop in between uh, windows, once I click off the preview, I just go to that uh, play video um, option source, the pre-recorded source and just let it play. Um, and then these other ones, you can just leave as is. You don't need to check those. So just go to browse file, and then you just wanna grab the video source that you want, and then click okay, and then it will pull in your video source. You may have to, on the video source, if it doesn't appear um, here in your window, you may just have to right click and click on properties, um, and then you may have to resize uh, the output source of the video to get it to show up. If it doesn't show up um, right away for you to be able to adjust it, and then again, I'm going to remove this one. I'm just go back here to this scene that I have set up here. So cool. So those are the two main pieces that you need. Um, just a thumbnail. You don't have to do the thumbnail. You can go straight into the video, but I like to do the thumbnail just to start it out. Um, and then the pre-recorded video that you need. One thing to notice too is on the pre-recorded video, the mic and audio, you may want to mute that. I have mine muted here. That way, when it's recorded, it's not picking up any of your audio that's not being recorded, any of your live audio. If you're in the room with the video, that's not being picked up as well. So in order to stream it, uh, what you're going to do is, is there's a, you'll see the start stream, streaming and manage broadcast um, options here. Um, what you can do is click on manage broadcast, and then that will give you an option to set up a new broadcast or you can set up an existing one but we don't want to do that right now um, if you click on the start streaming for the first time it will it will have you go through and set up um, your streaming so that's what we want to do so we'll go up here and then let's go to your preferences and then you want to come over here to stream and then the service that you want is youtube rtmps because that's what we're doing for this tutorial. And then you want YouTube to be the primary server. And 
if you have a YouTube account, which you should if you're streaming there, you just want to connect your YouTube account. So it, this will, instead of saying disconnect account, it say connect account, just click connect, and then it will just log you into your YouTube account, and then that will just uh, connect automatically. So you're connected to the account you're streaming in. If you want to do um, the more advanced way where you manually put in your keys, you can do that. But for this particular one, I would just say connect it. Uh, you don't have to worry about any keys. That's the way the one that OBS and YouTube recommends now. Um, in a prior video, I did it where you did it manually. So you should just do it this way for now and then click OK. And now what we want to do is I'm just going to change this scene to thumbnail. Come over here to manage broadcast. Uh, you can just give your broadcast a name. Whatever you want it to be. And I'll just call this how to fix Gmail inbox. And then just give it a, a description. We'll just give it a test description here. And then if you want it public, unlisted or private, you can select that there. This is like the YouTube defaults there, but for this one, I'm just gonna do it private. And then whatever category you're in, I'll just do the film and animation. And then this is just the, if you've uploaded a video to YouTube, you see this, if it's made for kids or not. I just always do no. And then if you want to, unless it is made for kids, then yeah, you do that. And then you just select your thumbnail that you want to add here. I already have the thumbnail started here, but if you want to have it show up like it does on YouTube, then you can just add your thumbnail right here. Again, this is like the YouTube presets that you're set up, but it's just in OBS. And then that's it. If you want to save these settings, like if you do a generic one, you can just check that box to save it. Um, the latency here, I would just leave it as normal unless you're going to have a lot of engagement, somewhat engagement, you can do low. If you're going to have a really lot of engagement, then I would do ultra low. But if you're just going to play it and let it go, then I would just do the normal uh, latency here. And then if you want to schedule for later, you can do that um, as well too. Also, if you have some existing broadcasts that you want to select, you can select those there. Those are those, those where those will be. Um, and then that's it. You just do create broadcast and then it's going to create it in your YouTube account, your live stream. So we'll jump over to YouTube now and let's take a look. All right, so I'm over on my YouTube account here. I'm just going to refresh here and then we'll pull up this window. I got my typo there. If you need to update or change here, you can also just do it right here in YouTube as well. But this is what came over directly from OBS. I'm just going to update that real quick. If you wanna add any additional info, this is where you do it. I'm here, change any settings, you can do that. I'm just going to save this there. Right now, I haven't started to stream. So if I go back and also to get here, you just go to your account um, and then just click on YouTube Studio. Um, and that will bring you here to the YouTube studio. Um, that's where we're at. So I'll go back here just on my dashboard. You see I'm at my YouTube studio. And then you just come down here to uh, content and then you can see live. And then this will see, show the upcoming video that you have set up. As you see right now, it shows streaming software because I'm doing it through OBS. I have it private. It's not live yet, it's going to upcoming. So now if we jump back, here, we should be able to start the stream. So since we're connected and we're set up and everything, so if we click start streaming here, you will see this will light up green here. So that means that the streaming has started. And then I just let it go a few seconds on the thumbnail and then I switch over to the pre-recorded video. There is a bit of a delay um, there a few seconds. And then now I'm going to hop back over to my other screen. And then if I was to refresh here, You'll see here this changed from upcoming to live. So this video is live here, it's private, so no one can see it. But if you wanted it to show up um, there where people could see it, you would just make it public instead of private. Um, so you'll see here, we're here on YouTube and we'll give that second. The spam folder can get stuck in the- See uh, the videos that are streaming on my page. I just paused it so the audio doesn't come through, um, but the live stream is going. And then in order to stop it before we stop it um one thing too if you wanted to change your doc to see the chat uh, you can see the stats here 
I don't want to see that. But if you want to see the chat, uh, then you can just turn that on in your dock. Uh, just select that and you can see the chat window there. It's not supported for private, but if it's live, you'll see your chat, your YouTube chat there as well. And then that's it. In order to stop the stream, you just hit stop streaming. And then it will stop it. And you'll see that changes. Um, the OBS is still running, but not doing anything with it. But yeah, that's it. Once you go back to um, your YouTube channel, we'll just do um, a refresh here. See that says live, but if we refresh here and go back, and then we go to our live section, gives it a few seconds, but it will pause there. It will pause this stream here and it won't be live anymore. It's just a few seconds behind. Give it a second. Cool. And there we go. Um, so now that's no longer live. And then that's it. Um, if you have any questions or um, have any issues, just drop your comments below. If you want more of these videos and you found these are helpful, just let me know. I'll set up more videos on how to uh, stream on other services like Facebook and Twitter as well using OBS. Thank you.